Hello, you guys, and welcome to a brand new series slash game slash video. So whatever you want to call it, let's play however you want to say it, whatever this is. This game is called Diplomacy is not an option. It was released fairly recently um, and we're taking a look at it. This game is kind of like a horde type game, uh, sort of. I mean, I don't, I don't, I never actually have played this game, but it's, uh, it's kind of like, uh, that zombie game that people used to play that was like a city builder sort of thing. Kind of like that game, but, uh, instead we're kind of facing like these hordes of, hordes of people or something, something on the lines of that. Uh, anyway, uh, don't really know too much about it. Uh, I did actually already record this video and then I was, uh, kind of stupid and as it was uploading, I deleted the edited video that I had created and rendered already. So already this this video has gotten a lot more work than any other video I've ever made. So I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's not really any different, but the point is uh, we've, we've already put a lot of energy into this game. So I, I might as well have to make a new video on it. So let's start a new game. Uh, we're gonna blueberry, obviously. And uh, you know, we're gonna play the campaign and uh no we do not need the tutorial because i'm already a professional i think i'll pass all right so right here this is sort of the uh promised treasures of the unwelcoming continent uh yeah i don't know either um uh, we're gonna start our way in liz way it looks like um so let's begin wake up call uh we'll, we'll go ahead with challenge accepted all right uh this is basically kind of explaining the backstory if you want to pause the video you guys can read it uh i'm not going to pause it uh but i i i already know what this is so all right challenge accepted he looks really happy i have to say just right out of the gate really happy king not bored at all. Yes. My lord, my lady demands new curtains. Okay. A silk, my lord. Oh, yes. With golden frills. Yikes. That's pretty expensive. One, two. Counting the, the birds going by. 48. Jeez, this king is really bored. Oh. My lord. What is it? Little Lord Squire fell into the moat. Oh, that's who that guy was falling. And a new squire is needed. Thank you, my lord. I hate. So, man, uh, basically, uh, this guy just spends a whole lot of money, and that's about it. Eats, drinks. That's uh, it's essentially a king's life, I guess. Pretty sure there's more to this. Thank you, my lord. All right. This is quite the cutscene. Even more of them in the evening. Drank quite a bit, I guess. The tax collector has just arrived. Oh yes, bring in the money. Good. We need some payday. Indeed, my lord. And where's my money? The tax collector didn't bring it. He barely got here in one piece. Peasants revolt and refuse to pay. A crowd of rebels and is marching on the castle. All right, so that that explains a little bit of the uh, little bit of the backstory, I suppose. Uh, so we kind of have to. Keep things under control and make sure, you know, we don't die. All right. So first thing I'm noticing. Okay. 
So from what I already played, okay, because I did already play about 30 minutes of this game. I'm just trying to be transparent, but I, uh, you know, deleted that video. Um, so uh, this, this is a different layout, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that means that uh, this game kind of has some procedural generation, which is always, always, uh, always liked. I always do enjoy that. So uh, pretty cool. Um, but all right. So the first things to know about this game, we've got population here. Uh, we, we currently have storage for 30 people. Housing. OK, not really storage, but housing uh, for 30 people and uh, population growth is five per day. So uh yeah that's that's basically that uh that sums that up uh we currently have 10 workers that are free and available for various tasks and uh, we have 50 food 100 lumber uh no stone and no iron we also have five of these soul crystals too i'll kind of explain what those do in a little bit uh and then we also have gold we currently have zero gold because people are refusing to pay and we had to pay for the silk curtains um so um all right anyway uh first things first we need some food we need, we need to make sure that we're actually making some food and supplying food to our uh soldiers and workers and such um so let's check out the food so we got the berry pickers so these berry pickers they kind of will pick berries within the area uh so right here we've got quite a few er berries so uh, I'm going to go and place these guys here. Uh, I'm going to rotate it a little bit just uh, just for my own sort of like. I'm, I'm sorry I did that. Um, and then also we'll, we'll get a fisherman's hut too. It uh, looks like we're only going to be able to place one fisherman's hut here. Oh, and actually we can place another one here. So that's good. Um, and then we'll also go out and place a house right behind here. And also, this is, like I said, this is a different layout, so I don't want to destroy any berry bushes. Uh, so we'll actually go ahead and place this on this side of things. Uh, yeah. Also, I, I still, after playing for a little bit, uh, I still, oh, geez, sorry. Um, I don't know exactly how to build roads, <laughs> which sounds kind of silly, but it's true. Um not entirely certain what uh how to how to build roads but uh we got the cemetery we got builder's house uh we'll take a builder's house uh because i think we'll need that i actually don't really know what the builder's house does uh but we also have the army the barracks we don't have enough wood right now though so we will need a lumber mill and right out here this looks like a pretty good spot for some lumber we can also get um so these uh, these uh wagons here we can essentially get some loot from these wagons and such uh, i'll kind of show that off in a little second uh but for right now i want to oh, yeah. sort my troops into uh two squads so that way we can do some scouting all right so we'll have that squad and this squad we'll go and have these guys go up there and collect that while these guys go down here and sort of do some scouting. So um, already, this is actually a pretty good group of soldiers. Uh, they actually do quite a bit of damage, but we'll uh, we'll kind of witness that. Um, so you guys can see, ooh, some stone. That's good. All right, and uh, I think this also will produce enough food. I actually don't know. The other thing, oh, we got fights going on. Okay, so already these guys are destroying these guys. Okay, just keep moving back. Uh, move this way. Keep moving back. Okay, there we go. It's really easy to kite in this game, which is something that I really like. So uh, if we move these guys up there and move these guys in, uh, whenever there's people that spawn, They'll target these guys first, and we can just kind of have these guys running. And, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. But it's pretty easy. They're pretty easy. All right, so, like, right here, we got this guy who's coming after us. We just kind of have to kite this guy. We don't even have to let him hit us. And the archers are going to take care of it. Just like that. And then we can, uh, start. 
So right here, this is a soul sh crystal that we can pick up. Oh, we need these guys to come back this way. And our archers to step up. So these soul crystals, essentially, we can use those for abilities. So down here is the abilities. So we have a summon. We have astral ray. We have mass healing and meteor. So uh, sort of sort of cool. Um, it's kind of like the abilities from. I mean, not really. Uh, these are obviously a little bit more uh, fight related than uh, what's in the universe, sim, but pretty cool, nonetheless. And uh, archers have an, a stupid amount of range too. Um, but yeah, like I said, these guys can actually like take care of a lot just simply because of the fact that these things are pretty stupid and they just kind of get kited. So. Like, as long as we keep our distance, we can sort of, you know, you can basically fight a massive army with just like two archers. So just keep on kiting them. Uh, they do respawn at a point if you don't take care of the, uh, the buildings in time. Uh, at least I believe so. Okay. The archers are not doing a good job, though. Alright, we'll go ahead and regroup them, though. Because uh, we need to do some things in our base. And I want these guys to go exploring. Okay, so... Uh, we are getting wood, so that's good. Uh, we need to get the barracks. So, where am I going to place this? Because there's just so many berries all around. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. We're good. The things that we're first facing, too, like these very first enemies, are like really weak. So, it's not really that big of a worry. But... I want to make sure that we're not losing troops just willy-nilly. Yeah. All right, so that's not going to destroy any berry bushes, so that's good. We'll go and build it right there. And uh, so we're now population growth is now seven per day. So that's pretty good. Uh, well, you will need another house soon. Okay, and we do have enough wood, so. I'll go ahead and place another house right here. And the other thing is, too, is that we do have some defenses, the wooden wall. I actually don't think that the wooden wall is worth it for right now. It's just it's too expensive as far as wood goes. Uh, we will need a granary, though. And also, uh, I will also need... Let's see here. Uh, okay, I can't quite make it yet. We should be able to make it soon. We will need the stone mine, and I think I should be able to place it here. All right, let's keep uh, having these guys going up. Oh, and actually, let's go and click this. Oh yeah. And uh, well, there's actually a few things to collect down here. There's uh, the soul crystals, and um, we also have a wagon full of some goodies. So always, always appreciated for those goodies. All right, let's get a stone quarry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for this one on this side of the wall. Uh, it's a little bit better. Uh, we kind of have this natural barrier here that I kind of want to use in the future, potentially, for a wall. But we don't need to right now. And I really need the granary. So we'll go and wait for it. Uh, and actually, we might build another lumber mill. Because out here... Yeah, let's go ahead and build another lumber mill out here. Because we will need a lot of wood. And we have currently three free workers. Which isn't that money, but it's, you know, it's something. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and collect this. And we'll go for, uh, hey. Okay, sometimes... Okay, sometimes I feel like they're doing what I asked them to do, and then other times they just don't. Oh, this guy has a shield, so he's going to be a little bit more tanky. And the archers are not focusing on him at all. They just really are caring entirely about the building. 
So, uh, we'll just keep on kiting until the archers decide that, uh, the soldiers are important. Okay, let's go and collect this. Yeah, it, it's really easy to just kite in this game, so. Let's go and collect this, and then we'll go and take care of these guys. So the horde is coming in three minutes now. So. Kite. All right, so we are going to be, we should at least be able to take care of all of this with the, uh, the soldiers. That, oh shoot, actually, crap. We are not protecting the archers. Archers need to run. Okay. All right, we are actually going to have a little bit of a problem. This is a little bit too big. Um, let's uh, let's try to hold our ground. Oh, okay, we're kind of getting surrounded here, actually. Okay, we need to get prepared for the horde. So let's bring these guys back. And uh, so the horde is going to be coming from this direction. So. Let's grab these guys. Going down there. Let's uh, let's get a few more swordsmen. So we've got quite a few free workers, and then also some archers too. These things uh, cost food, and then also uh, also free people. Uh, so that's uh, that's essentially what those things cost. What these guys cost. Um, all right. Uh, luckily, the training for this yeah. is pretty quick. It's not like uh, several minutes or anything like that. So you can kind of spit up some units pretty quickly. Also, every single building does have an upgrade, which is pretty cool. Uh, in fact, we can go ahead and upgrade one of the houses because I've never actually seen. Uh, oh, higher town hall is required. Is this the town hall? Yes. OK, we cannot afford that at all. All right, let's go and assemble these guys. And we also have... All right, so the horde is coming in one minute. Also, I think this horde is probably going to be fairly small. It's not going to be, like, extremely difficult for us to take care of. At least. All right, Lane, let's go and select everybody. Move them up here. I guess they're kind of... Potentially, they're going... Uh, mm, we'll kind of see what happens. I mean, uh, hopefully, they aren't even able to actually get close to us. But whether or not that happens, who knows. Also, the map on this is luckily not infinite. It is only as big as what the minimap shows. So we've actually already explored all the way down here. And I actually kind of like that. I think uh, already there's, you know, sort of these... I don't know what... Did I accidentally move these guys? Come back here. I don't Enemy know. Alright. Enemy forces are approaching. Also. Our wait a second. Are in combat. Wait a second. Wait a second. What are you doing, buddy? Come back here. You're the Lord. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's kind of meet them out there. I'm also afraid. Okay, they're actually gonna flank us a little bit. Hmm. Okay, where are? Oh, there they are. Shoot. All right, attack. Oh, this is. Man. Okay, that was pretty easy. Not too difficult. Uh, just like a really unfortunate area for us to fight in though. Wish there was less trees. Okay, so we successfully did pretty well against that little horde that we had. Okay, uh, so how is our population going? Uh, so we need another house that I know. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. 
And we'll actually go and build two more. Uh, we should probably get some more food, too. Kind of worried about that. Uh, some of these berry bushes are kind of getting pretty picked. But not it's not, like, terrible. We'll get another uh, fishing, a fishing hunt. Because uh, these things are pretty good. And then... Uh, we need some, we need the granary, uh, so that way, um, it would suck to get rid of this berry bush. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. But I feel like I should. <laughs> These berry bushes are too close to the town hall. Alright. We'll go ahead and get rid of that one berry bush. It'll be okay. Uh, we'll also need storage too, so I'll go ahead and build a storage there. I mean, it's not really getting that full yet, but it will. Alright, so what else do we need? Gravedigger's house. Find corpses on the city streets, deliver them to the cemetery, and bury them. Okay, I'll... I guess we will need that eventually. So how big is the cemetery? We'll have these two things pretty close to each other. We'll put the cemetery right in front of the town hall. Just like this. And uh, put the gravedigger's house right next door. Oh. Just want to rotate you. There we go. Also, everybody kind of passively heals. So that's something that's really nice. Okay, we should probably do a little bit. We've got some time. So uh, let's grab four of these guys and we'll do some more scouting. Another thing too, uh, if you click on, on the town hall, there's uh, this decreased workers radius and increase workers Our radius. Are under uh, uh, okay. sure. But uh, yeah, so basically this kind of allows your workers to go further out if uh, you know that areas are free and uh, you know, safe and st such. Um, uh, but right now I'm kind of just having it on default because you know, there's really no reason not to. All right, we'll go and grab these guys. And we'll have these guys go down this way. Looks like there's a little bit of an encampment here. Uh, we also know that there's a, an encampment here that's actually kind of sizable. Um, let's go and check this out. Okay, come on, archers. Come on, archers. There you go. All right, so we'll go and bring these guys, and we'll bring these guys this way. And how are these guys doing? Let's go and collect these stuff. So a good thing, there's quite a few berry bushes. Okay, everybody's still alive. We're fine. Our troops are under attack. Okay, so we've covered, we've gotten rid of a few, oh geez, our population growth is exploding, kind of. So, uh, we need to, uh, we need to use some more. Let's, uh, let's get some more swordsmen and some more archers. Okay, uh, we need to be using more of our population and also increasing our population uh, by getting some more houses. Uh, it's kind of nuts how quickly our population explodes. Yeah. 
Oh, the granary is full. How's the granary full? Yeah. Huh. Wow. Okay, so the horde is coming up from the northwest. Yeah, northwest. And so let's go ahead and get our a group. Kinda. Also, these guys can continue onward. Unless they really did clean out everything here. Kind of seems like they might have. Maybe this was the actual area that I had an issue. So we'll go and move down this way, scouting this out. And uh, let's go and collect this. There we go. And you guys... Oh, wait a second. What are you guys doing? Okay, nice. The town hall is in danger. Oh wait. What? Where are these guys coming from? Our troops are under attack. Hello? Guys, what happened? Where did these guys come from? The town hall is under attack. Okay, let's go after these guys. Where what happened? <laughs> Where did these guys come from? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> the town hall is in danger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got that covered at least. Okay, we have one minute. Uh, let's go and bring these guys back here. Let's bring these guys up here. And... Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, food is good. Uh, ooh, look at that. 78 total population. So that's pretty good. We, ever, we really haven't had much casualties, so uh, things are things are good. All right, we've got a lot of wood. Um, so let's get some berry bushes. Let's get some berries and... I don't know what more to say. Uh, in fact, we should be able to level this up now. Ooh, we can. All right, so we'll go ahead and level this up. All right, the big attack is happening soon. Go ahead and get a uh, nice little screenshot of things. Enemy forces Maybe. are approaching. Yeah, like this. That looks pretty good. There we go. Alright. A horde is coming. So this is the uh, third horde. Third, of, Three of four. So uh, let's go and meet these guys out there. So these guys should be a little bit stronger. At least that's what I'm assuming. Oh wait. Shoot. We missed them. Uh, hello. Guys. Oh, yeah, big battle here. Oh, these guys are a lot stronger. Ooh, that was a big catapult hit. This is good. Can't tell if we've lost anybody of our cell on our own. I don't think so. I think we're actually doing pretty good. Nice. That was a lot of dead bodies. Oh. A few more. Catapults taking care of them. I like how the trees just kind of get obliterated. All right, so that's pretty good. Nice. All right, we've got a we got a day ten is going to be the next horde. It looks like, but that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. 
If you guys did, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, any of the sorts, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I'm also taking some video game ideas. You know, we're going to try to expand our horizons with, uh, with the video games, that uh, the games that you guys want to see. So uh, leave some games down in the comments down below, and uh, I'll go ahead and take a look at it. I would prefer it to be indie games. Uh, I kind of like to support indie games and such. So please give me some indie game suggestions and such, and we'll take a look at them. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, if you guys liked it, like I said, like the like the like the video. Uh, comments down below. And uh, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you guys like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.